Hello, uh, my name is Dillis. I run the website codediv.com. Charges a very small per, uh, subscription fee for, or you can sign up for the free weekly newsletter. If you do decide to sign up for Treehouse or Code School, it would be really nice if you can support me to use this free external link source page. And here are our referral code for these two places. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. Helps me put up um, free videos on YouTube as well as on nerdlist.org, nern which is really cool. Well, actually, it is like something like that. Thing. Yep. So anyway, uh, today I want to talk about how to put your uh, web files on the server. So let's say yesterday, uh, I when I did a workshop, I uh, attended one, and we had all these files that can be uh, launched. So you can open it with um, Chrome, or you can just drag and drop to Chrome, like here. And you see how this is says file slash slash and a file colon slash slash this is hosted locally except it's really a file on your computer you're just opening the file with your browser actually I wouldn't even say it's hosted locally it's just a copy in your hard drive now this has a lot of limitations actually uh, when you're doing web development especially when it comes to Ajax and APIs so this is not a good idea necessarily and in many modern app development you will come to contact with setting up your own local host is like a development server that is hosted on your very own computer imagine Google has his own server that hosted this Google page that's how whenever you get online you can access this but you can also have your own uh, let's say um, Heroku app.com whatever you can have access to right however let's say um, if you want to do something else if you actually what you want to do is to um, have your own hosted services that you can do development on without having to actually purchase a domain set up a server on your own and set up a hosting service that's gonna be a lot of money that's gonna be like WordPress for example so what can you do to set up your local server if you're doing PHP you can use the mump server it will kickstart um, Apache as well as MySQL mump st stands for uh, Mac so there's a Windows version too which is WAMP Mac Apache server uh, MySQL and PHP so you can say start server and before you even do that you should set preferences of where you need it to be so you should set up preferences of where you want to launch uh, your app so this suppose should be the folder that you've been developing and you expect there's an index.php page or index.html page for this server to launch and you can see that the local host is set to port 8888. Your computer has a bunch of ports. Back then, especially important. If you are a novice developer, this is not as important. But just know that different apps may be using different ports. For example, if you're in a Rails folder, in your command prompt, you can type in Rails S, and it will launch your Rails server. And you can see a slight difference is that it is actually launched in localhost 3000. Zero dot zero dot zero dot zero is actually localhost, I believe. Yep, it's interchangeable. And uh, for those who use Python, I actually just got a tip from Girls Develop It in San Francisco, headed by two great developers, Pam and Liz. Um, Pam works for Coursera and Liz work for um, Hackbrite, I believe, and both of them have dedicated to uh, teaching local women in the Bay Area how to code. So 
what can we do about um, Python? See if I still remember. It was Python m simple HTTP server. It's really my first time. So it says no module. I got that issue last time too. Um, let's see if we can use actual legitimate folder. And it doesn't have a Python server. Let's see if I can. Um, no module. Not sure why this is the case. As usual, we have to debug uh, via Google. Um, very important because um, you know I don't know Python. Actually, I used to, and um, I don't know Python that well. Completely forgot about it. So when we encounter an issue, we need to find it. Okay, simple HTTP server. I'm just gonna copy the exact the same thing and give it a port. Just in case that would help. Apparently, that really does help. So you see how I put a small cap S rather than uh, capital. So that's always helpful. And Stack Overflow is where you should go. So if I now go to localhost 8000, remember MOMP is set to 8888. Uh, yeah, it's my. Uh, it's my folder for um, all my files, so you can see a lot of stuff here. So here you go, and this is what happens. You can set up very quickly in a matter of seven minutes or even less, really, if you just count the over-talkative part of myself. Um, we set up a Python server, we set up a Rails server, and we set up a, a MOMP server. So with MOMP, you can just go to... Um, the MOMP website or the WAMP website and you can download actually the regular version I think the pro will come with it which is very annoying just make sure there's no need to sign up for a pro version yet especially if you're a beginner uh, and with WAMP it looks really different uh, one part you need to uh, watch out for WAMP for those who haven't been developing too much is that uh, Windows is a lot of times inherently harder to set up for modern web development. I highly recommend the Mac. That being said, Mac is not for everyone's favorite and it's not exactly affordable. So if you, you do use a WAMP server, you need to find the www folder where you can put your web development. Um, you can change directory to your favorite, but it's not as agile as the month one where I can just literally click in here say if I say angel hack I haven't done that much in angel hack um, it will really relaunch the server and uh, both servers so if you see the spinning wheel here it means it has launched uh, Apache for me as well as my SQL if now I go to the one port it will look different from what I had before for example, this is my Mandrill uh, app where you can actually send an email to yourself. It was a cool API to use. So thank you for watching and hope this helps.